Alright, welcome back to Final Fantasy 16. Um, just visited Sid's grave, and we're still on with the plans to take out this Mother Crystal and this Mother Crystal. We spent a way too long time building a engine for a boat, and uh, before that was our fight with the Titan. So, I think we're probably going to head out. Once we go to the hideaway, we're going to gather materials and supplies to make for... Wait. Make for... What the... What? Oh. Got him, stupid. Yeah, we're going... We're going to, uh... Here. So, we finally get to see what the sinkhole's all about, I'm sure. And then that'll just leave one after... I'm re I really want to kill mom and I really want to kill the king here and I want to save our little stepbrother and I hope no one on our team dies so that's that's what I'm putting out into that's my manifest even though I don't believe in that stupid shit Eastern Dalmechia Onward. How are you feeling? Better. Thanks to Talia. I'm glad to hear it. You better be. And Toggle helped too. The new boy. What a good boy. This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Until the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. Alright, alright, alright. Look at that water, it looks so good. I wanna go swimming. God, how could you wear all this hot leather out in the fucking desert, you know? Oh shit. Leg eater? Disgusting. Alright, let's keep going. I haven't seen, um, Torgal switch to his ice form since so what do you that think? one point. You know? How nice. Here we go. 
farewell. Twenty four ability points and seven hundred twenty XP. All right. Well, that we have a lot of ability points. We've done the Republic a service. I guess so. Let me go in and just do the recommended ones. 2300 to acquire one new one. The Judgment Bolt. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Uh, let's turn that one on. Uh, what is this one? That one's okay. And then this one. Oh, but those are both pretty good. I guess this one's better. Alright. <sighs> Fucking thing never stood a chance against me. I see the Dalmex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The fallen. The path continues on the other side. I want to know a little bit more about the fallen a little bit. I mean, obviously it was a civilization before their time, kind of like the Prometheans or the Protheans, and of course in uh, Mass Effect. But where do they go, you know? And is Ultima one of them? Maybe what we know is what they know, you know? There's just that little known about them. Wow. The final sin? So this is a mess. That's the hole? The land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. The final battle took place here, at these falls. Holy shit. Also, the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, Perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious. And punished man for his defiance. By visiting upon him... Two curses. Dominance in Paris. Huh. To tell the truth. I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. But the bears... Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? Oh, gee, thanks. Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. What do you see, boy? We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. 
Then we'll have to keep our wits about us. Clive? Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. What's he thinking about Josh? Joshua? He's never once referred to him as Josh. I just keep saying Josh. Meanwhile. Seat of the Imperial Court. Audience chamber. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrain. Kid has not said a single fucking word yet. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. Oh, all right. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The first time they notice the pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieger made flesh. Hmm? Is that who he thinks his kid is? Or him? Or what the fuck? Return to your camp, Dion. And ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sambrek. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? Huh. What nonsense is this? I speak my mind. And my mind only. He knows of Ultima? Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers. Of course, it's our mom's fucking fault. And of the divine. You would trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. <gasps> the canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! <clears throat> you will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. No, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? He's definitely a kid. Does it pain you 
that you will not inherit your father's throne. <sighs> Twisting the fucking knife. I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. <sighs> what do you know of my blood? I'm on Dion's side. Fuck mom. Mom's a bitch. All right, guys, let's hit the road. The Boklab markets are to the north. We just need to hug the coast. Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly battle hardened. But it's not as if we can wait for the siege to end. More refugees. And they're all making for the Crystalline Dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the Crystal's blessing. They're gonna have to fucking figure it out. We're about to take this one down too. <sighs> there are no crystals here. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say you'll have finished by now. Imagine being on the road from a town where it's like you. Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. You had to. Um, I'm nasty. Let me, my lord. You won't regret it. Re you know, just like the mother crystal fucking exploded. You won't find a finer array. And being like, we gotta go street. to the neighboring town. Like this shit's too unbearable. And then on the road, you don't even know it, but the guy that fucking destroyed the mother crystal is just hey, jaunting along in front of you. The book led markets. Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in... Uh, uh. How much? For a measly crust of bread? You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are a former line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find Goot, shall we? Goot is the traitor that's gonna get us through, right? Big guy. He must be around here somewhere. Gotta be hard to miss. Where you at, Goots? You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. There you are. Oh, good. There you are. Clive, I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? What? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's betrayed us past. It's oh, gone. Of course it is. 
we cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in my pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Yeah. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? Yeah, it wouldn't I surprise do. me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm gonna check the rest of my stuff, make sure no else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Ah. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo then. And the other on our purses. To the checkpoint. Leave some for the rest of us. Oh, there it is. Looking to hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take ten it or leave it. Ten million. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait, Just don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe, Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. Not quite. We need to go, though. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a morble. Honestly. <laughs> Goots told us that you know the markets well. Might you have an idea which little ban could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Ben, we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. Kind of why we brought Goots. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Because they're trying to get to the Crystalline Dominion. Like, why else? Uh, what else is there to explain? Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. Bitch. No. So the shit. children are stealing passes to sell on the black market. Yes and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means that someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. God damn it, Goots. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with what us? What the fuck does that mean? You want to get your pass back. And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all. And two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Oh my god. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you zin if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh, I don't know, try swimming across the strait. But, 
Well, the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? So either we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Thank you kindly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. But you can call me doing business Sid. With you, Clive. The Crimson Caller. What does that do? The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will know you for a friend. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. Here we go. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, Eloise collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be likely to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. All right, speak with the fishmonger. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Life will... Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know, That's then. right. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. Whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard How the hell are we going to get kids to talk it's worth a try. if we can't abuse them? All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Come taste my peaches! They're sweet as Excuse me. Do you mind if I ask you something? Can't stop you. Mm -hmm. Off to a great I was start. Just wondering if anyone has asked you to do anything out of the ordinary recently. <sighs> anything you grown ups ever ask us to do is shut up and go away. So, guess what I'm about to tell you to do? Sorry. I'll leave you alone. This is going great. This is going fantastic. I'll take the large. Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked huh? me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. Don't know if I even believe that kid. Anxious. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what about? 
We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he... he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Mm. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tent outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Holy shit. All the way over there. Someone! Oi. Little whippersnapper. Oh, that big fat donkey was easy to Oh, look at that. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, oh, though. Fuck. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit, we're in trouble now. What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Am I gonna have to chase this kid? Hansa, where are you going? So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. I was expecting a don't hurt him, but since you didn't say anything. He can't have gone far. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. But what? But what? There he is. Oh, this is a nice open spot to get jumped. Oh, shit. Cornered. It's all right, Hunter. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to ask you some questions. Fine. Not like I've got a choice. I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them. Who are they? Call themselves the Carl Stones. They said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me. What? I knew they were bad, but it doesn't come for free. Didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them. You know, if I didn't do it, they'd just pick on someone else. Someone they could push around easier. Hunter. You found him then? Jill. Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. <laughs> you him! I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the cast stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Let's just give him a bunch of money and then... Yeah, let's trade him for information. Or they can just show up and I can kill them now. Cowards. Oh wow, he's handsome. You will not force another child to do your bidding. What? Wait, we're not <laughs> Whoa, hey, relax, buddy. Don't hurt him. You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brute. Where did you get He's it? Given. Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> uh, Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking Man, about. Way to jump to conclusions. Your sister. Wait a minute. Is Eloise the sister? What the fuck is going on? Eloise didn't tell us she yeah, had a brother. Okay. And why would she? I'm just at back and I thought they were going to say that it's like the sister of whatever girl is with Theodore, Joshua. at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate. 
stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Quest complete. All right. We have 51,000 gil. Just give it to the kid. We're not using it. We don't eat. We don't sleep. Oh, where is it? So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? We're not a stupid fucking Back kid. Down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then. All right. What does the renown even Leighton's fucking do Cleft for us? You know. South past the camp. Maybe we find out in the end, but so far it hasn't done anything. Here they are. Oh, guess we're not following them. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. Taste that. You should have minded your own. This one. Doubt these were the ringleaders, but at least we know we're on the right track. Oi, fellas! We got company. That's the luck. Oh. Following this way, I... oh, up here. Okay. <laughs> Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells, especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> it will be a shame when they chop them off. But till then. Let's make the most of Jesus. it. Jesus. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Let's fucking go. That guard from Falkland. Kill him. Kill them all. Take the big 
Parry, bitch. Show on the road. <sighs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere Thank among Thank God. Them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of but course. Give us the pass. Oh, and uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Or I guess we'll wait for you to give it to us. It's fine. Alright, time to walk all the way back hello again Eloise it's nice to meet you ah, but can we Clive. leave how goes the hunt my brother isn't getting in your way I trust quite the opposite so here's the story all about how So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom, Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods has pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? Yeah. I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. What does that mean? Would it now? Oh, Sit. she does know us. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well. We at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Well then. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? What, uh, what does this mean? Uh, it would be our pleasure. 
and our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Crimson Compass. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. The collar and compass, okay. I shall bear it with pride. Along with the when other all that remains seven necklaces that we have. Goots's pass should secure you a place on the caravan. But if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say nine Go minutes? fuck yourself. We'll try the caravan. Okay. Who the fuck has nine million on them, you know? Right then. Even Let's get this back Even Byron goods. just had a black pearl that was five hundred thousand. What I really want to be is a blacksmith. You gonna do it? Here you are, good. Try not to lose it you again. Big fucking buffoon. Me you found it. Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Miss O's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. It's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at Maybe it. Maybe stick them. And Goots. Nine million for, for stealing your a fucking pass yeah, across. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well. Yeah. You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll, I'll do me best. Final Fantasy 17. <laughs> Till then, eh? Nah, but they wouldn't be connected. Final Fantasy 16.5. All right. We have a place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hired us to protect you. But mercenaries. <laughs> Easy enough, right? And you remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts. Then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. Right. Let's go. Onward then. God, that fucking crystal's huge. I see. And you're quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima? I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sanbrek. Be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. You sure about that? My mom is. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Mm, I think he speaks my mom's mind. And his mom. Then the fiend works from the shadows. He's in the same building as his I mom. Confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my They're doubts. They're brothers. And more than a few at that. Beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. 
Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their Mother Crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. If Bahamut does meet them... Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge Well, then you don't believe him. Come what may. Is he gonna take multiple fucking... What do you know of my blood? Multiple icons to fucking kill Ultima? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Incest? Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears oh, too. Fucking. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. <gasps> Fork tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. She is just the worst. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Wouldn't it be exhausting to wear those fucking gauntlets all the time, even just regular clothes? Thank you, Your Highness. Hmm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. 
Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? Yeah. Pretty much. I... We Dragoons have but one leader, Your Highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. This is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Hell yeah, man. If I don't get to it, you definitely should. All right. That seems like a perfect place to end this. Um, you know, thanks, thanks for watching if you did. Um, these in-between missions are getting to me a little bit. Um, it would just be cool if they cut out a lot of the fat. It's still a really long game. It's still very good. They don't need things like these. I don't know where the necessity comes from to put these in. I do kind of, I mean, it, that one made a little bit more sense in terms of like if I was watching a, uh, like an actual TV show or an anime, you know, like I would, I get that there would be like a little bit of, you know, just an issue that arises or a complication. Like it can't just be that easy to, to make things, you know, go in that way. But like the building, the engine thing, I'm still salty about that. Like that, uh, that was irritating thoroughly. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching this if you did and, uh, subscribe if you're not already. And I sincerely hope you see me in the next one.